this is Naomi with Treasures by Naomi and today is my first pouring video. I, I have already mixed all of my paints. I have yellow, blue, orange, red, and white. And here is my 8x10 canvas. It is pre-gessoed um, and the brand I believe is Artist Loft. It is one of their economy, so it's nice and thin, but this brand staples, I mean, everything looks so nice on the back. So I really like using this brand. Um, as you can see, uh, I am, I don't know if you can actually tell, but my workspace is actually a wash machine drip pan, and it is dirty right now. But the cool thing is, is once it's dry, I can usually just kind of peel the paint off in which then I can use um, for my pendants so as you can see here now I now have this really cool uh, piece of plastic basically that's what acrylic dries to in which that I may have like have a spot here that I can cut out and use in my acrylic um, pendants and it's really kind of neat. So let's get started. Um, I have my cup here. I, I'm pretty much going to be doing my favorite technique, which is uh, called a dirty pour. There is also a clean pour. So a dirty pour is I am going to layer all of my colors into this cup and then I will pour it on to the painting, onto the canvas and then tilt it and create my art. If you ever watch some artists, they put silicone into their paints, which helps create um, what's called cells. And hopefully we will actually get some cell action out of this, but my, my preference is are to not have any cells. The, the cells I find a little bit um, distracting from the colors and such. So, all right, so I'm going to add some yellow. And, shake it up a little bit. Blue, now, just so you guys know, I, I'm a messy painter. I will get paint on my hands. Um, before I actually tilt uh, the painting, however, I will remember to put gloves on. Um, so now I added yellow and then blue and hopefully um, that combines and creates uh, some really nice green, a nice soft green. Now I'm adding red which should help create some of the purples. And then I'm going to turn this around a little bit. And let's check out the orange. I really don't want this blending much with the colors as this is such a beautiful orange. I think I have a clog. Well, that's really nice. Um, all right, and then I'm going to put a little bit more white. But I, as I said, I prefer not to have cells in my paintings. I really just love how the colors blend and create such dramatic colors themselves. And now I'm actually changing the order a little bit in this. Um, not by a lot, but I kind of think I'm going to add some red or that blue, but then I'm going to add the yellow on there and it will create an orange, but I'm more passing the colors through in order to create all that. 
Okay, let's see. What else do I need? I need a little bit more paint. So let's go. I'm going to put a little bit more white. And you could do it however you want to do it. I pretty much kind of make my cup super dirty. And I just, I love how colors naturally get created. And yes, I am doing it different every time, I swear. is plenty of paint now. All right. Let me rub my hands together, get some of those paints to just kind of absorb. And then I just get Equate examination gloves, Walmart. Nothing big. Um, I am sensitive to latex. So if you are sensitive to latex, make sure you do get vinyl. They, um, they're, uh, they feel a little bit weaker, but I swear they do, do the same exact job as any other kind of glove. You don't have to spend a lot of money on gloves. I just get like the 100 pack and it lasts me a good long while, especially since, you know, I use, I play with resin and resin is very sticky and a chemical that you really want to protect your skin from. I'm just gonna put my paints to the side, close them up. And now, so that was seriously like putting the paint in the cup and mixing the paints took most of the time. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's like little bubbles coming up. Those actually are what really helps create some of those cells. So now I am just going to pour this on the canvas. So here it goes. Get some of my corners. Now I have extra paint, so if I find that I don't like something, I can actually go over it. Now I'm about to use a uh, torch, um, a butane torch. You can f I got this one on Amazon, and it's kind of resin sticky. Um, but I got this on Amazon, and I've seen them at Walmart's, you know, in the aisles, the cashier aisles. Um, but you can also get culinary torches that do the same thing. You just want to be able, I believe, you know, to really make it work is you really want to be able to click it um, to, for safety reasons. It's a very small space here. So, all right. Anyways, I'm going to torch some of these bubbles out. And I'll do that again after I've tilted and added any additional paint. So let's get tilting now. Look at all of that beautiful red. Ooh, dog. Yes, I'm a little bit of a hick too. But anyways, um, so that's going to pour off a little bit. I want some of that red to come off. I want some of those other colors to peek through. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is awesome. I'm going to add a little bit more of the colors down here. Now what I'm going to about to do is probably do what's called a ribbon. And that kind of helps just add more color. Yes, I'm going to pour some of that off. And look at all of those colors. They're so lovely. I'm just gonna add some more over here. Move that. 
And you can add and keep going as much as you really need to, tilting it until you get to the painting that you want to have. There's actually a lot of paint on this canvas. I'm trying, oh. Oh my goodness, I don't want to tilt it anymore. But if you can see paint drippings, hopefully those dry really nicely and I'll be able to get some great pendants out of them. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this painting. Look at all of those colors. And I'm actually really thankful that the yellow didn't come out as much. I do have plans um, for uh, when, once it's dry, it's, um, let me get my corners here. I'm just picking up the paint that's dripped off already just to make sure that my corners are fully covered. Check my sides here. Sides are good. Just this corner, just need a little bit of cover. But because this is a planned series, um, I have a plan on what to do um, to embellish it a little bit, to kind of give it the pattern that I really want it to give. And ooh, look at that, that's like some really cool lacing that's happening. So I don't know if you've noticed, but since I finished it, there, since I've stopped tilting, the painting is changing. It is always changing until it starts to firm up and it doesn't change anymore. So, so I'm just gonna go over this again just a little bit to bring out some of those. I don't want all those air bubbles to come out later as it's drying. Now I got a little bit of speckling, which I don't mind the speckling. That I think just kind of gives it a little bit of personality. So anyways, that was my pour. What I will do now is I would like to take you guys in for a close up and show you what it looks like up close. Okay, so this, sorry about the light. You gotta have a spotlight, you know, gotta make it look good. So this is kind of what it looks up up close. So I'm gonna take you in a little bit further. Bottom right corner. Oh, look at all those swirls. Here is the upper right hand corner. I'm really digging what's going on right here. That is cool. I'm gonna take a little bit. Oh, I'm just, I'm so loving this work. And I really wish the spotlight would go away <laughs> so that you could see this really awesome looking lacing that's happening right here. That is called lacing when it starts to really separate and I got these really great little yellows and green speckles coming out of it. Oh, I'm so loving this, you guys. Look at all those amazing, absolutely stunning colors. And some of you guys might even see um, like, designs or something in it let me know in the comments if you actually see something in the painting all right guys that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to my channel um i would love to be able to share with you at any time uh click the little bell icon and you'll be notified when i post a video and please share comment whatever please let people know that this is the coolest art ever <laughs> anyways thank you for joining this is naomi with treasures by naomi see you guys later